James Williams here for Sports Minded. Just going to give you a quick insight on an article I just read on ESPN.com. Um, apparently, um, some sources close to quarterback Peyton Manning have told Chris Mortensen that he that Peyton Manning will undergo a physical exam. Um, it says in March, um, as part of his contract with the Denver Broncos, that will determine his future going forward as far as playing in the NFL. As we all know, um, in the upcoming weeks, especially next week, we know Peyton Manning will have a game against the New England Patriots and Tom Brady after defeating the San Diego Chargers earlier today. But it looks like, whether he would like to or not, Peyton Manning may have to retire after the 2013 season if the results of the exam that he will take in the off season after the playoffs or the Super Bowl for that matter, if the Broncos were to make the Super Bowl, um, depending on the results of that exam in the off season, that will determine whether or not Peyton Manning will play another game for the Denver Broncos or even in the NFL for that matter. So with that being said, I found that quite interesting and I would like to encourage you guys to enjoy what may be the last game or the last two games for that matter of Peyton Manning's career. Um, Peyton Manning been playing for over a decade. I believe I heard earlier that this is the 15th matchup between him and quarterback Tom Brady going head to head um, during their career together, um, during their careers um, in the NFL. I believe the 15th matchup, um, they're one and one either in the postseason or in just AFC championship games. Um, Either way, whatever that is, that one and one record with one win going to Manning, one going to Brady, someone will win that game um, to break that tie. But that may be the last game where, where we see the two best quarterbacks um, in the same game competing against each other for this generation. Um, so that's something interesting you guys may want to realize and not wait until after the game or after they say Peyton Manning has to retire. Um, so it would be nice to see Peyton Manning go out on top in what may be a Super Bowl win, um, much like how Ray Lewis did last year. Maybe we'll get that for the second year in a row where um, someone who's well-respected around the league uh, will go out on top with a Super Bowl, much like Jerome Bennis did uh, a few years back. Um, so just wanna just wanted to break that out, break that down to you guys on what we may be expecting going forward. Um, so again, uh, depending on how an exam goes and if his neck is considered stable and in good condition, um, we may be able to see more Peyton Manning. If it if things seem to be going for the worse, um, no matter how he feels right now at the age of 37 in the playoffs he may be done um as far as you know many people thought when he missed that year which eventually um led to his time ending in indianapolis with the colts uh, many people probably didn't think he was going to come back then um and play in the nfl again at least if anything not even to the level he is at now um so the level he's playing at now is bananas the um record Every game, it seems like he's setting a record. Um, 13 and three so far this season are the Broncos. Um, from what I see here, he's passed for over 5,000 yards um, and 55 touchdowns. I find that hard to believe, but with Peyton Manning, you never know. Um, don't quote me on that. I'll have to double check that. But anyways, Peyton Manning. I, I believe I saw a stat earlier that said he may have. Five different receivers with 10 touchdowns? Don't quote me on that. It sounds kind of ridiculous, but like I said, with Peyton Manning, it, it doesn't matter. So, I mean, you with Peyton Manning, you never know, but we definitely could be seeing the end of an era if Peyton Manning were to leave the game. Uh, either way, he'll be going out on top. Um, maybe not the way he would want, but I'm sure anyone would be happy to have the career Peyton Manning did. Um, so with that being said, my name is James Williams for Sports Minded. Thank you for listening and have a great day.